warriors welcome back to my channel my name is prachi and in today's session we would be covering up some important questions of the chapter ammonia i understand i was away for a while and i'm sorry about that but now let's get back on track and let's get working on the syllabus now so let's get started so students the questions that you can see on the screen now are highly important questions these were seen in previous years of board examinations and um, we won't be wasting a lot of time on each question if you don't understand how we are getting the answers um, i would soon be uploading a video on ammonia and i would link it up um, below in the description um, you can go on that video and understand the chapter get back here and then do the questions so for the students who have already covered the chapter let's get into the questions so write the balanced equation for the preparation of ammonia using ammonium chloride so what is ammonium chloride that is nh4cl it reacts with calcium hydroxide so you would have caoh whole twice that gives us calcium chloride cacl2 plus water plus ammonia you can balance the equation on your own now moving on why is ammonia gas collected by downward displacement of air so first reason is it is lighter than air so lighter than air and second is it's highly soluble in water so we cannot uh, you know collect it with water whether uh, in any form we cannot collect it over water so that is because it is highly soluble in water highly soluble in water moving on give one relevant observation when ammonia gas is burned in an atmosphere of excess oxygen so we get a greenish yellow flame you have to remember the color greenish yellow flame moving on to fourth question name the drying agent used in the lab preparation of ammonia that would be quicklime what else what is quicklime that is cao you should know both the names why is concentrated sulfuric acid not used for drying ammonia gas so the reason is ammonia gas is basic in nature so if you react a basic compound with an acidic compound you would end up having a reaction so instead of sulfuric acid drying out ammonia gas it would end up reacting with it so what would we say we would say ammonia basic in nature therefore reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid Moving on to question sixth, name a process by which ammonia gas can be prepared on a large scale. The answer is Haber's process. Next, question seventh, name a solid formed by reaction of two gases, one of which is acidic in nature and the other one is basic. That would be ammonium chloride. NH4Cl ammonium chloride now uh, moving on to question 8 how is the nitrogen gas used in haber's process obtained so it is obtained by fractional distillation of liquefied air so fractional distillation of liquefied air moving on ammonia is soluble in water because it is alkaline in nature alkaline in nature question 10 name the product when ammonium nitrate is heated so you will get nitrous oxide plus water so nitrous oxide plus water moving on to question 11 reaction of ammonia with excess chlorine so uh, you would have uh, ammonia plus chlorine this is excess 
we would get HCl and NCl3 which would be yellow in color. Moving on, which catalyst is used in the preparation of ammonia in Haber's process? So, you will use finely divided iron and molybdenum. molybdenum. Now, question 13. What happens is ammonia reacts with uh, carbon dioxide? So, that would be ammonia plus CO2 would give you NH2 CO, NH2 plus water. Okay. Make sure that you balance the equations. What are the favorable conditions for Haber's process? Very important questions. So, temperature would be about 450 degrees Celsius to 500 degrees Celsius. Pressure would be 200 ATP. Then um, the catalyst would be finely divided iron and promoter would be Al2O3. So these would be favorable conditions for Haber's process. So students, this is it for today's session. In this session, we were able to go through about 14 important questions from the chapter Ammonia. If you have any doubts or queries or if you have a suggestion or advice for me, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much. Let's catch up in the next session that would be on Ammonia chapter. Thank you.